Many companies spend a significant amount of time not only completing documentation during the design process, but also on storing it, retrieving it, getting the right approval, going through the gate approval process, and getting the correct update to the project status. In addition, this is not only a time-consuming activity when storing and creating the documentation, but also when you need to retrieve documentation. Companies spend a significant amount of time searching for the correct documents to retrieve. Because most solutions on the market are not tailored towards the specifics of the medical device industry, the process is only partially covered, resulting in manual updates of the documentation having to be made, manual check-in and conversion of the documents resulting in a higher risk of error, increase in effort required and a lack of visibility. In this video I will show you how you can manage documentation on a project that is off track to achieve an accurate up-to-date project status, faster documentation retrieval, improved visibility and decreased risk of errors. The system will point to the exact deliverables that are off track, which means that you are able to retrieve the right documentation the first time. When you make changes and revisions to the documentation, the system automatically keeps track of changes and logs it. This ensures that everyone is working on the latest revision. The system is also able to automatically convert documentation to other file formats, such as PDF. Lastly, when a new deliverable is marked as ready, the person responsible for signing off the change is automatically alerted. When everybody has done their work to ensure the deliverable is finished, the phase is automatically completed and everybody can move on to the next stage. When Mike arrives at work, the first thing he does is that he logs into Minerva PLM. Once he is in the system, what Mike wants to do is that he wants to check the status of his projects. So he goes to projects and he sees that the ventilator project PB560 is off track. He opens the project to find out why this project is off track and loads the deliverable matrix. In the matrix, he can clearly see the status of all. He can see he has two deliverables that are off track. He can also see that one has a closing rule by owner and one has by deliverable release. The closing rule for the country list and language requirements is Mike's own deliverable, so he can close that by pushing the close button. This will go in, tell the system that Mike is done and it will set the status of this deliverable to closed automatically. The other deliverable that is not complete is the customer requirements document for the buzzer board. This is a Word document that is supposed to be closed by a DCO. What Mike does, he goes into Word through the Office Connector, he searches the ARAS database for this specific file, he finds it and now he can open it to edit. Word automatically loads the file from ARAS and Mike can go in and complete this document. He adds that this document should also be valid for the ventilator PB560 model and he also goes in and updates the table of contents since the revision history is no longer needed in this document as it's now controlled by the PLM system. He saves this document back into ARAS. This updates the file inside of ARAS and automatically generates a PDF file that can be used as a viewable inside. Once the document is saved, it's notified in Word, he can go back, open the document object, click on the sidebar to load the viewable file to review that his changes has been implemented in the file. He scrolls down and he can see that the table of content has been updated, the revision history is no longer there, and he can also see that his update, that this document should also cover the PB560 ventilator series, has also been implemented. Going back to the main form of the document, Mike can go to the changes tab to see the status of the release process for this document. He finds a relationship to the document change order for to release it, sees that that is assigned to him and Mike can now sign off on the release process, releasing the document which will in return then also close the last deliverable line 
that was off track in his project. The document is now released. Mike can go back to his uh, project, refresh his uh, delivery matrix, and he can now see that the last off track uh, deliverable is now closed. If he goes back and searches for his projects again, he can now see that everything is okay, all projects are on track, and he can go on with his day. Thank you.